Hello, my lovelies. I started doing this and I thought I had better turn the camera on so folks can see what I'm doing. I'm working with some graphics that I've cut out of Daphne's diary. Now it is number three of this year, 2024. It's that one there. Okay, I've cut out the, the vases that were in here. Where's that other one? What have I done with it? Oh, there it is. And I've cut it down so that it fits in my joy and happiness journal. So you can see the difference in size. I've cut a little bit off the bottom and I've cut a little bit of, well, quite a lot off the side so that it fits in this little book. I've also fussy cut the flowers and the leaves and I just got the glue on here and I thought, turn the camera on, Ruth, turn the camera on. So that's what I'm working on. Now I'm just going to continue gluing and putting these things in place. And you have to forgive my desk, it's, or my tab, it's a very big mess. I have been working on several journal projects that I will show you eventually when I get them to the stage where they become interesting. Sometimes journals are not interesting until you get past the, the making of them. Now I'm putting the flowers in first because I want them all to be in place as it were. Now I forgot to cut the little center out of this one so I'll do that now. Well, I remember, otherwise it's going to get glued in the book as is, and I'm not going to be happy. Now, I don't normally cut things, <coughs> excuse me, with um, my blade, but I'm not feeling very confident to get my scissors in there neatly today. Such concentration, isn't it? When you're not talking, you're concentrating like crazy. Oh, I've got a square edge up here. It's supposed to be round. That's a wee bit better. Happy with that. I saw these vases in the book and I thought they would look absolutely stunning when they're made up because you're supposed to make them up as an off the page project but I've got nowhere to put these gorgeous things anymore. So I wondered how on earth I could get it to be an in the book and I thought, hey, they're flat. Let's just do them flat and see what they look like. And when I laid them out, I was sort of very, a little bit impressed. So that one will sit about there. And I don't mind at all about things overlapping because that's what you do in vases. You put things in and, you know, just hope that they work. Unless you're a florist and you've had lots of floral arrangement design or you, you're a natural at it. But I'm not a natural at floral design and putting things into vases. Mine are always, even re in reality, a bit haphazard. They never look as nice as a, you know, a florist arrangement, but yeah, oh, yeah, it is what it is. Lovely. Oh, excuse me, I've got to itch. When you have an itch, the best thing to do is scratch it. Oops. You're supposed to stay down. You're not supposed to pop up. Oh, 
Well, that looks fine. I think I might go around the vase with my black marker pen and a piece of paper behind. Otherwise, I'm going to be drawing on the table. Where is my calligraphy pen? There it is. This is a cheaty way of getting a black line around your stuff without inking and without making too much of a mess on your project. My biggest fear is that I'm going to slip and I'll end up with a black line coming into the, the part of the stuff here, the little vase, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm being a little bit more cautious than I would do normally. Because my thing is to rush through all this sort of stuff and it's when I rush that I make mistakes. So I'm not going to rush this time. I'm just going to take it slow and easy. I haven't got the greatest fine motor control at the moment. Oh, I nearly had a slip. Now I just have to remember to be careful when I am turning corners. Oh, I didn't quite thought I'd missed that top a little bit. That's a little bit better. That's a well, that's a lot better. Let's face reality here, it's a lot better. Now I've got a lovely little ruler that I found and if I just put that a smidgen to the edge I can rule a straight line and the bottom of the vase is going to look pretty good. Look at that. Straight as. I like clever. I did that without aid. Yeah. She tells fibs too really, really well sometimes. It's just lovely being able to get something that looks really, really sweet and get it working so well for you. I'm not going to go around the edge of the flowers. I don't think they need it. And yes, I know these little bits are sticking up. I will attend to that. I need to get a wipe and clean the edge of the ruler before I put it away. Otherwise, next time I pick it up, I'm going to get black fingers. Oh, I love this stuff. Love it when it comes off so clean. Okay, that's good. Into the bin with that bit. Now I'll turn you over and apply some double-sided tape. To the bottom, to the top. couple of little thin bits for the other parts of the curves. I could put this onto mounting tape, but I do want this book to be as flat 
as I can. Which is why you won't see a lot of mounting up going on. Mounting up, building up, both the same, I suppose. It's amazing how good you can make something look when you've got the resources that go with it. You know, a piece of page from a kit, a little graphic from a, a magazine, and look at that. So pretty. What I might do, though, is... Go around those flowers with some glitter. I've got my candy glitter still here on the table because I think gold would look really lovely if I can get it around the edges of the flowers. Just giving it a good old whack here so that it comes down to the nib. Yep, there we go. Now this can get a little bit fiddly because sometimes the kindy glitz wants to come out in a big blob and if I don't catch it quick enough I get blobs of stuff everywhere instead of little thin lines like I want. I can always go back And do more. I just got it coming down and then I let go of it and it sucked it back up again. Come on, be good. Sometimes it comes out a little bit too fine and it becomes watery. Okay, that's looking good. Now for this little tulipy type thing, I'm going to miss some of it because by nature, when you stick something over it, you're gonna miss out on bits. This is becoming difficult because it just doesn't want to flow nicely for me at the moment. I just had a bubble come out instead of the, the glitter bit. Don't want bubbles. Because when it bubbles, it goes and I end up with big splats of of gold glitter glue everywhere. And that is not what I want. This is looking so much prettier. It's rather cool. I've got my clear one here. Maybe I could go over the, the vase with that. The only problem is once I've got this little bit of glitter stuff happening, I'm going to have to leave it alone to dry. So I'm sorry, this could be a very short video. I'm 
Mm. Not totally happy with that. It'll work out. It will work out. Maybe I'll leave the glue, the kindy glitz sitting upside down so that it will keep the contents present at the nib. Because what I'm thinking of doing is putting a gold stripe up here and one down there so that it looks like the vase is edged in gold. And the other little flower, the leaves and other bits and pieces, the stems, I'll do in clear. So they'll still get a shine. Oh, this one's going to work really well for me. Coming out a little bit thicker and faster than the gold one. Oops. Missed the side. This does look pretty. I hope the camera is catching the the glittery parts and giving you a little bit of a shine so you can see that what I'm doing is taking effect or having some sort of effect. Do that little stem as well. I love adding this sort of stuff to some of the creations I do. Sometimes it sometimes it doesn't work or it doesn't yell for it, but this is sort of this one's speaking to me. I want glitz. I want glimmer. I want glamour. So that's what I'm giving it, some glamour. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And the more I think about it, the more I do want to put a band of gold around top and bottom. Okay, baby, let's see if you're going to work for me. You've been down there, so let's see. Let's see, let's see. This bottle is much firmer than the, the crystalline one as well. I'd like it to be a fairly substantial band up here. Now it's taking its own sweet time to do its thing, isn't it? seems to enjoy working backwards so that's what I'll do I'll start over here and work backwards because it seems to be what's working I'm stuck I'm stuck I'm stuck I'm stuck Come on, get in there. Okay, let's see if that makes any difference to you, my friend. Here it comes. Beautiful. Little nib just needed to be cleared.
See what I mean about it doing its own thing? It's just ending up in blobs, which is quite frustrating. Okay, let's see if you can get straighter this time. Not so much straighter, but more level. I'm holding it up a little bit from the paper, maybe just a mil. It's not very much, but it's enough to give the, the fluid a chance to come out in one even run, I think. That's my opinion, I'm sticking to it. I'll just go back a little bit along that baseline. Try and colour that in a little bit. Oh, oh. Okay, now I'm going to have to call this video in done for now. When it's dried, I will um, put a couple of stickers and other bits and pieces onto it, take a photograph and tack it onto the end of the video so that you can see the whole thing done. So thank you very much for joining me. I do hope it wasn't too boring and I will catch up with you another time. Bye-bye for now. Keep crafting and keep smiling. Hello, hello. I am back to finish this page with you. I decided that just a couple of little dots around this page wouldn't finish it enough for me. So I have coloured in some um, hole protectors and I've brought out the, the lavender from over here the lemon and the blue and I've chosen a deeper color blue trying to match it up with the darker one I think I've been successful I've got a ticket that I've taken part of the thing off it's just for backing and I thought I'd put a lot another ticket that way let me just show you let me just do it I'm going to make a cluster to put in here because that is such a big advance um not advance um a big piece without anything on it apart from the pretty colours. It just needed a focal point. So I decided that I'd build a cluster. And for the edge of the page, rather than surrounding in the purple from the, the page underneath, I thought I'd put some blue colour pencil on it. So I just thought I'd finish it with you here. I know I said I was going to take a photograph and put it on the end, but there is more to do on this page. It's just a rustic type of border because everything else is so precisely cut that I just wanted this to be a little bit rougher. It just brings out the blues a little more. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. All right, pencils away. <clears throat> All right, now to build this cluster, I think I'm going to build it in place. These are little clouds on there too. That's quite pretty. I don't think I want to um, go around the edge of that. Oh, well, yes, I do. Just very carefully just enough to to highlight the edge if it does peek out underneath everything else I'm putting on top of it I'm hoping that this is going to to look good we can but hope I don't want a very large border around this ticket. Just enough to make it stand out a little more. Did I do that bit? Yep, I did. <clears throat> right. We'll use the um, 
Who's this one by? Tombow. Okay. Got the little glue seal. I don't need great big globs of glue, just fine lines of it if I can get this down. It's just a matter of getting the glue down. Warm it up a little bit in my hands if I can and try and get that glue flowing a little bit. Oh, whoops, there we go. That's flowing a little bit. I'll put that little blob in the centre. It's coming out really well now, too well. Okay, now I've got some hearts that I cut from a book page. Another reason I've chosen to go with the, the wet glue instead of the tape is because this has got a little bit of time to dry so I've got a little bit of wriggle room that I can play with. Yeah, that's going to work really well. I had this one already stamped out and coloured, so I was quite happy when I opened up my little packet of bits and pieces with my ticket stuff in it that that was already done, so I didn't have to do much. Now this one, I just went around the very tips of this with the black pen and put the, the little centre in. Just spread it out a little bit over the wee petals. It almost gets lost in there, doesn't it? Now, these little circles are adhesives, which is wonderful. So I'll put one there. Overlap the mauve one there and the lemon coloured one. I can put there. Oh, they're almost like Olympic rings, aren't they? Okay, now it still needs something up here, just something little. I wonder if I can put half of, oh, that might work. A whole flower up there. Or I could put half a flower. Put it over the edge of the paper because it's not going to be hindered. Yeah, I'm going to put half. I'm not going to put half. I'm going to put the whole flower up there, I think. A little cluster, maybe. Of the brighter colours rather than the, the muted ones. Because I think there's enough. Although that does look pretty. Maybe I could have the, a brighter coloured one. Oh, that pretty does blue. Whoopsie. Eh. I am not sure. So I'm just going to put it down and see how it looks. Well, it looks okay. Let's do a little cluster up here. And 
and one more. I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to leave it alone now because if I add any more to it, I think I'm going to be very disappointed. But what I will do is put some glitter on this little cluster and up on the corner, a lot of flowers. If I just turn this around a little bit, if I can, so that I can get the centers done. Now I'll do the top ones first, that way I won't be reaching over the, the colour. It doesn't need to be a lot, just a little bit in the centre. Because Kindy Glitz does dry flat, it has a tendency to spread and flatten. I think I might like to put gold in these in the middle of these little circles. Come on, that's it. Just when I want bigger blobs, it's not <laughs> it's not cooperating with me. And a little bit in there too, I think. I'll cover up that black bit. Okay, I'm calling that quits. Thank you very, very much for coming back. Well, you can't, you've got no choice because this will be on the end of the other video. But thank you for sticking with me. I do appreciate it. I've still got some little flowers there that I can put into my stash. And these circles I will put back into their envelope place. And... I'll be able to use those another day. Yeah, I'm happy with that now. I'm finished. That page is done. Thank you so very, very much, guys. I will catch up with you next time. Stay smiling. Stay crafting. Love you lots. Bye now.